today we are fishing with a five dollar fishing kit my dad saw this at walmart and he picked it up for me um, so we're going to be testing it out today in this high mountain stream there's a bunch of trout right behind me and we're hoping we can get them to bite this so without further ado let's get this unboxed and uh see what we got going on in here all right guys here is what we're looking like we got a creek and pond fishing kit 50 pieces this is only five dollars that's insane all right here's what we got don't worry i'm gonna pick that up so it looks like we got some jig heads and a bunch of soft plastics the goal is going to be to catch a fish on every single one of these oh, whoa this is a lot for five dollars i will say that is a lot we got some of these babies i'm not completely sure what those are these however did catch my mind we got some helgramites here i bet you those will put in some work we also got an array of craws in different colors there we go i mean that's looking really nice but my favorite so far has been these crickets look at these crickets guys these things look juicy if i do say so myself the only thing i'm concerned about is this plastic bobber and these jig heads are a little big for trout i will say however we're gonna fish with everything in this kit only for trout and hopefully we can catch some let's see what we can do all right so what we're gonna do first i think is we're going to get one of those jig heads on and thread one of these soft plastics on i'm gonna try and choose the smallest one i think they're all around the same size now that's a little big for trout just a little bit but we'll see what we can do for our rod we have four pound test eagle claw feather light rod so this is a super light action rod it's like a freaking bendy straw it's like a spaghetti noodle that's what i like using for trout all right there's that i want to go with these crickets first i think these crickets are going to catch one freaking instantly so there we go that is bait number one can we do it remember the goal a fish on every bait i think we can i think we can okay here we go first cast with this little black cricket thing they're supposed to have stocked this for the first time uh this week so i guess we're gonna find that out i'm gonna flip it right next to this rock it's pretty deep here and you guys can see how flimsy the rod is and i'm just gonna start twitching start twitching just like that there's a couple of these baits I have big faith in, but there's a couple that I'm like, eh, I don't know. No. Hi, dog. The water is the perfect clarity, though, I will say. Just keep that twitched. Just like that. We're stuck on the bottom. That's cool. Yeah, stick fish. There's a stick right there, too. Oh, we got one down, guys. We lost one. All right, let's try that again, shall we? This looks juicy. We're fishing with the wrong stuff, guys. We got to have a space bug on. Try right here. Right here. You don't need to be by me all the time. Oh, you got fishing line on you. I think they just see my giant jig head and they're like, eh. We got a side by side here. Come on, guys. We can't even break the skunk. This isn't looking great. Dad just missed another one. There we go. There we go. Oh, on the cricket. Oh, it's a bigger one. It's a bigger one. It's a bigger one, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that thing. Oh, my goodness. We did wait longer. Oh, he's jumping. We got freaking Nessie in here. Oh, look at that thing. Come on now. Where's mine? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I got some right there. Well, I think it's safe to say they work. My goodness. Look at that. Wow. First fish on the walmart cricket nice rainbow now i will say it took us longer to get bit but our fish is pretty nice it's bigger than the ones that dad has caught this morning do you need a net or no 
<laughs> I think I'm gonna throw this one on the stringer. We are keeping a limit today. Look at she's the biter. Hey! <laughs> the cricket got it done. That's the first bait down. We're gonna get this off now and put something else on. Alright, cricket back. Let's go with a craw. Let's go with a craw here. We have this orange craw. That looks pretty juicy. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna thread it and uh, hop it the same exact way. We're gonna go from the tail first. All right, well that's what we got. I can't really get it any higher than that, guys. Um, that's just gonna have to do. Not the greatest presentation, I will say, but you know. All right, there we go, a little craw. Looking nice, I mean, that looks like it would get eaten by something, who knows? First cast with the craw. There are crawfish in here. We see them all the time in the water and we never bring a crawdad trap. So yes, there are crawdads in here. We'll get into this fast current. We haven't caught any in the current. They've all been kind of on the end seams. We're just slowly twitching this, keeping it above the bottom. And I'm reeling very slowly because you don't want to move it too fast out of their face. Right around here is where we're getting bites. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, yep, yeah, right here. That's second cast, we got a bite. Come on, craw. Oh, that's a bite right there, guys. It's just tough because that bait is big. So I got to let him eat it before I swing on him, which is tough. Look at him. He got it off of there a little bit. Let's thread that back. Come on. Sink into the bottom. We got this. The presentation. That, a size is a big thing with trout, if you guys don't know. That's why I always fish with 164th and 132nd ounce jig heads. The hooks need to be small. The presentation needs to be delicate for, for stock trout and mainly wild trout. But if you're fishing for like bigger fish and you're like fly fishing, that's, that's a different kind of thing. But we casted this craw around for the next 30 minutes, not getting any other bites. We even walked up and down the creek. So I decided to try this little bobber feature with a split shot and a hook and made a quick bait change. I don't know what these are or what they're supposed to mimic, but they look nice. Not huge, but like I said, trout are micro feeders. Dad's getting bit on the space bug. We got that. Boom. And then we're just going to cover that hook shank. It kind of looks like a squid. And it's just going to dangle like that in the current. Let's give it a shot. No luck on the craw. A couple bites, but that was it. Let's see if this bobber even, even supports the split shot, man. Oh. The bobber doesn't even support the split shot. Oh my gosh. We can't use this bobber because it's junk. We're just going to do the same method here. We twitched this around the bottom for about 30 more minutes. My dad, I think, had five or six fish at this point. Zero other bites. So we decided to move to another pool and try our luck there. All right, spot number two. We don't know if they stocked here because they kind of like bounce around. It could be a bunch of different places. So we're going to unload, get the dogs, and hopefully catch some fish. This area is a little tight, so we're gonna rock just the GoPro for now and see if there's anything. We don't even know if they stock this section. We have no clue. So let's do our usual. Get that down in there, start twitching. Ideally, we catch one right away. Come on, baby. I'm just going to let that bounce the bottom. We'll just keep our line tight. See if we run into one or two. Right here, guys. We got one. Oh my gosh, he's tiny. He's tiny. <laughs> I'm counting it, guys. I'm counting it. Get this squid off my line. Yeah, the micro rainbow. The pink squid. That's what I call this thing, man. 
All right, there we go. We can finally get rid of that thing, man. Jeez. We did it, guys. Pink squid is down. Next, I think we're going to go back to the craw. Maybe a Helgramite. We'll go for a Helgramite. Because I think that's going to get destroyed in here. I mean, look at this thing, man. That looks absolutely amazing. You guys want to see ripping jibs with a Helgramite? Let me know. I think I'm going to go face first. And I'm just going to thread it. Push that. Boom. Perfect. And that looks juicy. Dad's getting bit. Here we go. Look how juicy this looks. Black space bug? All right. Let's go right on the other side. Dad's getting bit again on the black space bug. There's definitely some fish in here, guys. I'm just going to twitch this Helgramite in this fast current and see what happens. That last fish bit right by our feet, so anything is possible. I will say, I have a ton of faith in this Helgramite, though. A ton of faith in it. It just looks natural. It looks nice. Oh, that was a peck right there. Yeah, straight out in the middle. Got him. Got him. On the Helgramite. On the Helgramite. That was only like third cast, guys. Nice. All right, we'll take that. Oh, he freaking ate that thing too. All right, look at that hook set, guys. Right in the corner. There we go, Helgramite down. He smacked it. I'm so glad it didn't take as long as that other spot. I'm gonna get him unhooked and just get him right out of here. Yes, I knew that one wasn't gonna take long. We're taking the Helgramite off. Let's go. I think the final thing we have is the freaking craw. This is the final thing we have, guys. I think this one is a little more made for a jig head. I didn't even notice that. So let's get this on our jig head and see if we can finish this thing out. Who would have thought this thing would be last? I mean, just look at it. Beautiful colors, very realistic. Let's see if we can catch our final fish. So this is where we're fishing. We just got some water coming down into a nice pool and then it kind of tapers off. Dad's been catching most of his right here and we've kind of been getting them in this area-ish. Here we go. First cast with the craw. Dad's getting bulldozed over there. Space bug's killing him. Okay, I'm just going to start twitching this thing. That's been our, uh, we just got bit immediately. No way. Oh my gosh, my heart. My heart, yeah, right away. Oh, he greased it. Yeah, I missed him. Oh my goodness. Right around here, guys. Right around here. Oh my gosh, immediately again. <laughs> Let that sink. Right there, guys. We got him that time. Oh, he jumped off! <laughs> he jumped off. Yeah. That's a bite. Oh, my goodness. He let go. Yeah. Yeah, this is the craw. Oh, my gosh. Right there, guys. He was not going anywhere. He was not going anywhere. That is a good fish. Can we land him? Can we land them? Can we land them? Yes, we can. Look at that Walmart craw hanging out of his mouth. Uh oh, did you get stuck? Ooh. Well, we did it. We were able to catch a fish on every single bait in this Walmart thing with one jig head to spare. That was amazing. I'm gonna do some fishing off camera, have some fun. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe go check one of these things out. I don't know.